Hey guys, so I got a quick unboxing to do for you. I gotta get to uh, my kid's daycare to pick her up. Evatax Shadow Ranger. Kyle got his, I saw, so good for him. Uh, real quick, this room Sticker Mule guys. I talk about them occasionally. Um, they make all types of uh, prom promotional products, stickers, mugs, that kind of, I don't know about mugs, coasters, magnets, da 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 da. And, um, they have a deal literally every week. And uh, sometimes they have one that's like every day there's a new deal during the week. Um, so at least twice a month, if not more, I buy stickers, magnets, all the swag you see on the channel, right? I buy it from them. And uh, this is one of those. So I bought these uh, three inch circle stickers. Uh, and literally the deals are always like, I got a hundred of these for uh 20 bucks you know it's always something like that so i'm not spending a fortune on these if you guys want stickers if you want a magnet i mean it depends on what i have at the time um just hit me up i'm happy to send them to you i just have to slap a couple stamps on there i'm not going to charge you uh, at least not until i get a million requests and i'm running out of money because i can't afford fucking stamps which I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So I have circle stickers. I have cut out stickers. I have cut out holographic stickers. I have cut out magnets. Da, 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 da. So that is that. I also ordered some soap. You guys know how I uh, dig on that Dr. Squatch, right? Um, well, there's another company I found on Instagram called Bear Bearsville Soap Company. So I always am up for trying a different, um, a different, you know, type of, uh, soap or a different type of whatever. And, uh, I thought I'd give this a shot. This one is bourbon sandalwood and it smells pretty damn good. This one is forest fir. Oh yeah. That smells like a pine tree right there. Oh, that's a good one. Um, and then this one is vanilla and sandalwood. Yeah, it smells good too. So, um, these are all natural, all that good stuff like Squatch. Um, right now I'd say Dr. Squatch is obviously my favorite. I have a subscription with them, but these guys also have shampoo and they did have a bit more of the manly type smells that I like, like woodsy stuff and pine tars and uh, bourbons and stuff like that. Uh, Dr. Squatch gets a little artsy sometimes, but we'll see. I'll follow up on that. And then the main event, guys, my Medford Slim Mini is back. That is what I am stoked about. Um, I sent this in pretty much two days after I got it because the detent was light and I was like, this knife would be perfect. Not perfect. It's not lefty, but, um, it would be a lot better if it, uh, had a stronger detent. So I literally asked them to strengthen it by 15, 20%, and they just said, sure. That was it. Uh, so here it is in a box of peanuts. I want to make sure there's nothing else in here, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's nothing else in here. Um, I didn't pay. I literally paid to ship it UPS because they don't want anybody shipping USPS. Um, and that was it. They shipped it back to me. Um, they paid for that. So, um, I am hoping this guy is dialed in. It's still, uh, dead centered. Um, it's still blue. Take a look at this sex machine of a knife. I just absolutely love this thing. One thing I really loved about it was it doesn't feel any stronger. I mean, it feels absolutely no different, which is interesting. Ah, maybe it is. Ah, huh? I don't know. I mean, it's still smooth. Yeah, it absolutely, I am pretty sure that There's no difference in the detent. Like it's still, it's still extremely light. 
That is very strange. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I could flick it, so I don't know if I'm just, you know, I, I probably shouldn't worry about it, really. I just still wish it was stronger, because, you know, you should be able to break that detent and have it fly out of there and lock up, but it kind of does, right? Uh, it kind of does. I mean, I don't want to say they didn't do anything, <laughs> But it uh, it seems awfully like nothing changed on this knife. Um, but I don't see why they would act like they're working on it and not do anything. Um, I know I sound like a dick right now. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to get past the fact that it feels almost identical to how it did before. So um, I guess that's all I'm getting at right now. I want to check one thing. So you see the clip rattles a little bit? I think I recall when I had it initially, it was off it was off the scale a little bit, and then when it opened, it would be on the scale or something like that. Now it is always resting on the scale. So I wonder if the retention. No, that feels the same too. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, I don't know what to think, but it seems like either I've gotten much better at flicking or this thing has gotten a little bit better. I mean, you can see there I still miss it. And th that's what pisses me off is, like, you should be able to just flick it and have it lock up. Um, I shouldn't have to flick it hard or whatever. It should just flick out and lock up. Um, and it should be stronger, like absolutely should be a stronger detent. Like it's easy to roll out. That's how I could tell, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it is, I don't notice any difference. I may honestly contact them again because, um, if they had strengthened it by 20%, I think I would notice something. And maybe I should have asked for 50%. I, I don't know. Um, it's a little bit frustrating, to be honest. I, I want to love them. I, I do. I really like Medford. I like their customer service. I have. Um, I just want a stronger fucking detent, though, you know? I just want it to uh, shoot out of there. And it does. Yeah. I don't know, guys. This is a tricky one. Like, if I get it, is it because I'm down here? I don't know. Like, that should be a strong enough flick. You know, you should be able to break it and have it shoot out. That's my point of contention there. Um, you know, and their point is going to be, we have people who want to roll it out. But I am not that person. Um, which is why I asked for a stronger detent. And I'm obviously hung up on this, guys. Um, I still love the absolute shit out of this knife, the way it looks, uh, the fact that left-handed putting pressure on the lock bar doesn't lock it up. Um, all that stuff is really, really good, um, and it does make me happy, and I'm glad I have it back. I'm just a little sad that it's not a stronger detent like I asked. Um, yeah, I don't know. If somebody asks for a stronger detent, wouldn't it be smart to make it noticeably stronger to where they're not going to be like, oh, no, that, that's the same, right? Obviously, you don't want to make it too strong, but, like, I don't know. Maybe it is good. Fuck me. I'm an asshole. I don't know. That's it, guys. I'm going to do a follow-up on this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to play with it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play with it before I start making judgments on shit. Um, and again, guys, I love Medford. It's, it's not that. Um, it's just a question of whether um, I asked for it to be strong enough, I guess. Um, maybe that's my fault, honestly. Um, so I'm going to play around with it, and uh, I'll get back to you guys on it. Obviously, I still have to review the damn thing. Um, I absolutely love the shit out of this knife, and that's why I want it to be perfect, you know? Um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, this has been the uh, Medford Knife and Tool Slim Midi. Hey guys, Kev here, and I am going to run through my first impressions 
of the Medford Knife and Tool Slim Midi. So, you guys just saw my uh, second unboxing. Sorry. Uh, second unboxing. And um, I was a little bit of a bitch, as usual. <laughs> um, I was complaining about the detent. Now, I did send this off after the first unboxing to have them strengthen the detent. And I asked them to do... Uh, to add 10 or 15, 20% to the detent. And after carrying it for a couple hours tonight, I think they did that. Um, I did not ask them to add 50% or 60% to the detent. And guys, I don't know how you average this percent that I'm fucking just throwing out there. But, and pardon me, I'm still sick. Um, but I think they did what they said. And honestly... After carrying it tonight, I think it's money. Um, I think this knife is made to always be able to walk it out like that. Because um, this knife is probably marketed for the 40 and over crowd. <laughs> Burn. Um, but it does have the flickability to it. And it works fine. Like, I am not struggling to get it out. You can see. And if I go, if I remember correctly when I first got it. Even, like, a good old flick like that sometimes wouldn't get it out all the way. Um, like that. You see there? Uh, now, that's a thumb flick with a fuller. And, you know, it, you got to give it a little wrist, I think. I mean, I can do it without wrist, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, but it takes a little bit, right? But if I use this uh, blade stop, boom, right? Um, and the flick, oh, it's so good. So... I am good with the detent, guys, so uh, we can alleviate that. I'm going to leave that first part, the unboxing part, in because that is my process. I want everyone to see my process. I, this is going to sound like a fucking stupid-ass thing to say, but I'm human, guys. I'm just like everybody else, obviously. I don't know why anybody would think I'm special, by the way, on the edge mug. Uh, Doc Street in here. Good old Pilsner. Um, when I say I'm human, I mean I go through things. So, you know, I hyped it in my head that it was going to come back and it was going to be this, like, F5.5 detent perfectly dialed for a middle finger flick, right? Or it was going to come back and be a um, Liang Ma, Riot made Koof type knife, like lefty with the whole, right? Um, I just hyped things up in my head and it didn't come back that way, but it came back really good. So, um, I'm going to accept that and not just accept it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to enjoy it. I really am happy with the way it came back. Um, it does have a little bit of a click on the, uh, clip but i could easily bend that a little bit i do think they bent it a little bit because i remember it standing off the scale when the knife was open and then when you closed it it would be flush i don't know sorry something fell i have no idea what it was um but yeah um i don't know if I'm misremembering that but i remember the clip standing off a little bit and now it's flush at all times and i it only clicks when I tap it, which is fine. There's some knives where it clicks when you do things, and that's fucking annoying. So, uh, you will see here the centering is dead on nuts. Um, I just love the handle scales on here. I mean, this uh, blue anodized, um, I guess it's a tumbled finish. They have a new process now, so I kind of want to buy another one just to get that new process. Um, but look at these scales. I don't remember this scratch over here. I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, that seems to be new, but guys, that's the shit I don't care about. Like some people are anal about that. Uh, I'm the detent guy. I could give a shit about a scratch on here. Like I'll fucking take a bit driver to this thing right now and it won't bother me. Now that I shouldn't have said it that way. I meant to scratch it. Uh, I'm not taking this apart. Um, that's kind of a thing with Medford. They don't want you to, I don't think. Uh, they don't really sell the tool. Um, 
And this, there's just some knives that I'm just not going to take apart as much as I want to. Um, like another example is another one I just got that I'm really loving, the Berg Blades Slim. And it voids your warranty. And that's not really the reason I don't want to take it apart. Um, look at this. I mean, it's just butter. And I'm not going to improve that with anything. Um, and I've had knives of really good action and taken them apart. But this one is from Wii. And I've struggled with them before, and I just don't want to fuck with it. It's perfect. Um, plus, the whole voiding your warranty thing does, you know, encourage me a little bit not to. Um, but there's just going to be some that I don't take apart for whatever reason. Like, I'm sort of afraid to take apart this Quiet Carry Drift. Now, I'm going to because I just ordered another one, because the Knurling is back, or was back in stock, so I bought one of those in, in uh, Knurling Stonewash. But I had a buddy who has one of these, and he tried tuning it, and he said it was such a pain in the ass, <laughs> trying to get it to not have play, but still have good action, and like, because it's so thin, I guess? I don't know. So I was like, oh, I'm not taking that apart, but now I am, because I got another one. But there's just examples there, right? Um, but... <sighs> Guys, I am in love. Like, look at this Tanto. This is the reason. This right here is the reason I love this knife. The aesthetic. And it's going to be hit or miss, guys. But this is a 100% hit. This is a home run. This is a Ken Griffey, bases loaded, Grand Salami, out of the park in 1993, right? Like, this, for me, is absolutely stunning. And for that reason alone, I forgive other things. I forgive a little bit of a detent uh, being light, right? It's not that bad, though. Um, and actually, I've found I kind of enjoy rolling it out. Now, I, I'm not 40 yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, it is kind of fun to roll out like that. And you want to know why? Because it has a Medford snap to it. Like, listen to this. Oh, it's just... It just snaps open and you just feel like a man when you do that, right? Like my balls tingle a little bit every time I do that. Um, it does have this step like cut out right here to get in there with your thumb if you're, you know, right handed and a douche. No, I'm just kidding. If you're right handed, you have a little more access to it. Um, but I will say one thing that I'm happy about being left handed two things. First thing is uh, the Spidey Flick. It, the lock bar has no, like, it does not mess with you at all. Like, I love that. Uh, there's a lot of knives where as soon as I touch this fucking lock bar, uh, like, I cannot flick this fucker out. Lock bar pressure is a bitch for lefties. It is a true goddamn bitch. Like, uh, right luckily this knife is a bolster lock and i can get down here and i really love this one but uh, just examples there right so i really like that uh, that is a super like just awesome thing for a lefty right there so if you're righty you don't give a shit and i think it might be that right there i don't i'm not a machinist or anything but the fact that there's that space there as opposed to on a normal knife, they don't have that kind of cutout. As soon as you put pressure down, you're adding pressure to the blade. I don't know. But that's my going theory. Uh, is that because there's there's a little bit of gap right there, it helps protect that. Um, what was the second thing? Oh, the lock bar. So, I actually think this is a bitch to disengage right-handed. My fuck Now, granted, my right thumb is fucked up. Like, I don't, it's just from not being right-handed, maybe, and playing with a lot of right-handed knives. But pushing this bitch over and getting the blade to drop, it hurts like a son of a bitch. And part of it is because it's such a thin gap here, right? Um, it's just not the best to push. Now, if I do it like this, it's fine. But I can't really do that when I have the knife vertical trying to do the, you know, the droppy drop. So, that shit hurts. Being left-handed, I just go like this. And it doesn't hurt at all. It's perfectly fine. I love it. So, it's another good thing for being left-handed there. But, um, 
Yeah, guys, I'm really enjoying this knife. Uh, the action is fantastic. It's on bearings. You can see how it just shakes down. The fucking grind on this, man, um, is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I would love to talk to somebody like Neves Knight, like Jared, who like sharpens and, and really knows about edge geometry and stuff, and find out how good this Medford grind is on this Tanto uh, compared to comparable knives because Medford gets a lot of shit for Medford's don't cut. This thing is exceptional. I mean, I, honestly, it's one of the best looking and cutting blades I've had. Um, I love this compound grind. I mean, it's just such a sex machine. Um, I don't know who in their right mind would pick the drop point. I like, I like, I don't despise the drop point, but I didn't want one of these until I saw there was a Tanto and I was like, oh shit, there's a Tanto. And then I was like, damn, I gotta get me one. Right. And I kind of, like I said, I want to order another one. I think I want to get a black, like PVD one, maybe, um, handle and then maybe satin again just because look at this satin i mean do i really want to get a pvd coated blade i don't know so anyway cutting blade fantastic right action is great looks department sexy ergos so it's a skinny knife right but it's tall enough and it has this fucking choil right here and it's just ridiculous. Like, it is so comfortable. Now, you'll see it listed as three and a quarter inch, but that's the edge length, right? Uh, that doesn't count this whole part of the blade. So it's more like three and a half on the blade. And I, I don't know, four and a half on the handle. There's a lot of handle when I do this. Like, ah, oh, dude, it's just so good. You can also hold it back here if you want. Like, now, I don't work with knives for a living, so I can't tell you... If you use this like long term, how that feels, but it feels great to me to just do some cutting, open packages, shit like that. Um, yeah, guys, the carry, fantastic. I mean, this clip is great. It goes in, it comes out. What? Uh, I carry this in my front left just because this is sort of expensive, and I don't know. It doesn't have the most retention in the world, but I'm not worried about it coming out. Um, I guess I just don't want to fuck it up, maybe. That's why I only carry it in the front pocket. I don't know. Um, but I always carry it in my front left, and the clip is great there. Um, yeah, guys, it's just so good. I mean, I other than that, like, detent being a little light early on. Uh, sorry, my finger is catching. Um, I really have no issues with this. And I'm very excited, you know. And here's a good look at the blade up close. Medford. Love that logo. The S there is for S35VN. And here is, I guess, the... I don't know what it is, honestly. It might just be run number 101. No, they don't do runs. I don't know what that means. Uh, but I have 101033. So, uh, just so cool. And uh, I'm just glad I have it back, and I can't wait to keep carrying it. And I will finish up the review, and I will let you guys know how I ultimately feel about this bad boy. But I love it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you all, and I will catch you later.